Hello church, my name is Pastor Barrett, and today we'll be going through our sermon series, Kingdom Character, Finding Hope Through Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Feel free to read along with me, Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 through 42. It says this, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. In this passage, Jesus is giving instruction to his disciples, to his followers, to us, on how we should react when someone sins against us, when someone does wrong to us. What should our response be? And the first thing Jesus says is our response should not be to take the role of judge over someone and seek to determine what punishment they are worthy of and exact justice for what they have done wrong to us. It's not our place to seek revenge is what Jesus is saying. And the reason it's not our role to do this is because that role belongs to God alone. He is the perfect judge. He is clothed in righteousness and holiness and perfect wisdom. And he is the one who determines what punishment someone should receive and how it should be carried out. And one day he will sit in judgment over all of humanity and justice will be had for sin. So we should trust in the role of God as our judge and the judge of all of humanity and not seek to take this justice into our own hands because we're sinful people. We are broken, we are overly emotional, we are not wise beyond our years, we are very limited in our wisdom. So who are we to seek to take the role of God and judge other people? So leave this justice to God and in his place. So rather than to respond with revenge, Jesus challenges us to follow his example and to love those and forgive those who sin against us. Jesus was mocked, He was beaten, he was betrayed, he was lied towards. Uh, So many horrible things were done to Jesus, and yet he responded to these people who hurt him with love and with forgiveness. And we are called to do the same things as followers of Jesus. Now, in all candor, this is not an easy command given to us by God. It's not natural in our sin nature to want to to forgive those who hurt us, to return hatred with love, to, to look at those that are cruel to us and be kind. And so when we struggle to do this, when we struggle to love those who hurt us, what we should do is focus on Jesus. Focus on the fact that he first forgave us for our sin. Though we did not deserve it, he He took our punishment that we deserved on himself and he died for us and he bled for us. And he did this because of his vast compassion and mercy. We were not deserving of it. So who were we then to reject his command to forgive others when we ourselves have been forgiven by Christ Jesus? Who were we to pretend that that we are worthy of forgiveness but others are not? So church, when we are sinned against, when wrong is done to us, we should first acknowledge Christ's role, that he is the proper judge over humanity, not us, and that he will exact punishment and he will get justice and we should not seek to get it ourselves. Also, we should follow the example that Christ Jesus set for us in loving other people who do not love us back and in forgiving those who maybe are cruel or hurtful to us. And third, we should remember Christ's sacrifice, that he died for us, that he bled for us, and he forgave us, though we did not deserve it. So in this way, we should extend others' forgiveness when they are wrong to us. Through the work of the Holy Spirit inside of us in remembrance of what Jesus did, might we be able to forgive those who do wrong to us and not seek to get vengeance and not seek to get even with other people. We love you, church. Hope you have a wonderful day.